In this video, you will watch part two of my workshop, Get the Courage to Speak Italian. If you have not watched part one, I will link it right above here and also below in the description. So watch that part before watching this one. In this workshop, you will find my best tips, strategies, mindset shifts on how to become a confident Italian speaker if Italian is your second language. And you also find some student stories that I hope they will inspire you to take action and overcome you any fear that you may have right now of speaking Italian. I made available this workshop on YouTube for everyone to watch to celebrate the third edition of my Italian conversation course, a course for introverts, travelers, and creative folks who would love to learn to speak Italian and enjoy it. You can find more information about the Italian conversation course in the link in the description below this video. Also, if you'd like to learn more and also remember better what has been said in the workshop, I prepared a workbook for you related to the workshop. The workbook is completely free and you can download it in the description below this video. But right now it's time to watch part two of the workshop, Get the Courage to Speak Italian, which I hope you will enjoy. This is Ermi Pedata from TheLanguageFirst.com and without further ado, here is part two of the workshop, Get the Courage to Speak Italian. Some people think that uh, before having a conversation in Italian, I need to get all of the tenses right, I need to get all the vocabulary of any topic right, because you know, you never know what's going to come up in conversation. Well, here's what I'm going to say. Start small. Start small. You don't have to start to speak Italian during a whole presentation about a particular topic or go and speak to all the people, the Italian people on the street that you find in Italy. You don't have to do that. That's not building your speaking skills. That's just making you better. Conversation. It doesn't have to be long. Start with a trusted person, maybe someone you will be learning Italian with in your Italian class. Maybe your cat, okay? <laughs> Speak to your cat, it's okay. That helps as well. That helps as well. Because it does. Or you just speak on your own. And that helps as well. You have no idea. People don't do that. They, they underestimate how even speaking on your own. Because again, we say it's about repetition. Repetition in your brain helps the, the neurons to fire together, wire together, and when they're wired together, that's how you know that you have a skill. That's how that's how you know that you have something now in your long-term memory, not just short-term memory. Okay, so start small. So this is something that we do um, in the Italian conversation. Uh, I've been doing this conversation course uh, since last year and the reason why I decided to do it is because people had this problem. Like they would say, I mean, I'm learning a lot, but uh, here speaking is not happening. This is not happening. And they will, okay, so let's, I decided to create a class where people come together to sing a song <laughs> and then we have a topic, one topic. One topic, like a little one, that we we'll speak about, that has started. But that topic, they already have it before the class. So they they do conversation scripts about it. Okay, they prepare things written down, and then they rehearse this, and then they can come to the class and actually. Speak. And once, it, and once they do one topic, then they do another topic, and then they do another topic, and then they do another topic, and they start to build islands of fluency. Like an island here, an island here, an island here, an island here. But then they come together, and they become continents. And that's the big one. Okay? That does not happen like, oh, now, in, you need time, but this is something that you can start doing. Now, choose one thing that 
you want to be able to talk about. Choose one. I know everyone of us has got, has got passions, things that they like. What would you like to talk about in Italian? What kind of conversation would you like to have? One topic. Yeah? Read a conversation script about it. Write it down. Read it. You know, talk to you, your friend, yourself, your cat, you know. Then try and speak with someone else. And that's how you start to build it. Your speaking skills, starting small. Okay? You start small. Okay. Turn to the person next to you and tell them, imagine that you had to have a conversation in Italian and imagine, you know, how that conversation would go and what would you like to talk about. What would you like to talk about? Tell them. And by the way, if you want to learn to speak Italian already, do it. <laughs> okay. Now there is one more thing that I'd like to imagine you to imagine. Okay. You are here in the story house, okay? And someone comes to you and asks you something for a piece of information. Like, excuse me, you know, what is blah blah blah. You kind of understand that uh, the English is not perfect. But you, you understood what they were trying to say. So you, you answer, you know, give the piece of information. But then uh, this person, let's say she, she asks you to repeat because she didn't understand very well. Uh, would you repeat it for her? Would you be bothered by that? Okay. Um, then let's say that she says, uh, you speak more slowly, please. And then uh, let's say that uh, now she understands it. So she, there's one word she doesn't really understand. So she's saying you could write it down. Or can you spell it? Would you do that? Yeah. Would you annoy? Would you be annoyed? So I'd like to invite you today to get comfortable with asking for help in making mistakes and stop thinking that you're causing people by doing things like, by asking things like, can you speak more slowly? Can you repeat that? Because most people think that when they're doing the conversation in another language, they need to get everything they think that uh, they're bothering the other person. Oh, I'm bugging them down. They're going to hate me forever. <laughs> you think that? Karen doesn't. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, I actually used to think that a lot. I used to think that a lot. I still think it sometimes, but then I remind myself. I, I, I remind myself and I say, you know, if someone does me, like it's okay. I'd like to help. Actually, it makes me good to help them. It makes me feel good. I like helping people. Don't you like helping people? Yeah. But then there is true. There are some people that don't like helping people. They're not very nice people, aren't they? <laughs> but you don't want to speak to those people anyway. <laughs> so this is the thing. If you're speaking at home and you get things wrong and you make a mistake and you don't understand. The other person is happy to uh, help you, unless they're bald or, or you know, <laughs> very not nice. But then, as I said, you don't want to speak to them. So let's do. Let's go through these things. Okay. So one thing that you can always say is, "Sto ancora imparando." Scusi, sto ancora imparando. When you say that to the Italians, they always become little teachers because they like to teach. <laughs> they feel really cool. So yeah, all that time we spent in Italian class at school, now I can do something with it. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, you say, say, sto ancora imparando. Scusi, sto ancora imparando. Parla più piano. Parla più piano. It's okay. O parla più lentamente. You can say that. Don't know what something means? What you say? Cosa significa? What does it mean? Say come. 
petty, repetitive. That's the informal one if you want to be formal, you say repeta. You cannot learn a language without making mistakes because in, in language, learning Italian is not black and white. Sometimes you say something and you may get it wrong even though you're using the right word because they have a particular way of saying that thing. Does that happen? That happens in any language. You just made a mistake. However, what happens? You just learn how do they actually say that thing. You just learn it. Isn't that a good thing? Yes, it is. So the more mistakes you make, the more you learn. You need to remember this every time. Make mistakes, it's an opportunity to learn. Great. Celebrate. I made a mistake. Man, I have learned today. Um, one thing that uh, sometimes students, uh, they do homework, and they come and they're like, oh, this exercise, I really didn't get all that right. These sentences, this sentence at the end, yeah. I had no idea what that meant. Like, what does that mean? I never seen a, I never seen that before. I made a mistake. Great! <laughs> you just learned something new, man. <laughs> Celebrate. <laughs> That's why that, that exercise is there. 
to make you learn something new. If you would get all of them right, you wouldn't learn anything new because you already knew, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. And the last thing is this. Communication, not perfection. You need to aim for communication, not perfection. Here's what I mean. Communication, all of you in here, all of you in here, you choose to learn Italian, right? Why? Why do you want to, tell me, why do you want to learn Italian? Beautiful, okay? And what do you want to do with Italian? Hey? Use it. Use it with? In Italy. Use it in Italy, speak to people, communicate. To understand culture more. Self culture is because you want to be able to communicate with the people in that culture. That's how you understand the concept, right? So keep the brain going. Keep the brain going. That's a great. Yeah. <laughs> it will keep your brain going. No worries. <laughs> yeah. But how you keep your brain going is by using Italian, right? And you need to use it to say things, to communicate. You want to communicate maybe, I know I know some people in here, and some people are learning because they want to communicate with their family, because some of, part of the family is Italian. I know that some people here have friends that are Italian, <laughs> and they want to communicate with them to understand you know, what's going on in their brain, because any language has a kind of way to shape your brain differently. Yeah? That's also the culture. So, as long as you are communicating, you are doing things right. What I find is that people that uh, get most bogged down, slowed down in language learning is the, are the people who are extremely picky and super perfectionist about things. Oh, I need to get all of these things right. Oh, I need to learn past, present, future, to perfect, whatever, before doing something. But this is what happens. They keep learning all these things. They accumulate all this knowledge, but they never use it, and then in the end, they never do anything with it. What's the point? Yeah? They want to get things perfect, and in the end, they, get, they don't get anything done, <laughs> really. So remember, if you want to communicate, communication, No. Uh, Jackie, can I tell you a story about a phone call? Jackie, um, by the way, she also won the student, a brave student yeah. as well in the other class. Yeah. <laughs> so, because she, she won the brave student uh, prize because she said that she had a, a phone call from a, a random person and they, they were Italian. And she managed to say, this is the wrong number, right? <laughs> In Italian. <laughs> you did, yeah? And then what else did she say? I was actually going to say that my mum's as well. My mum's in Yorkshire. It's like completely random that an Italian, a real Italian, probably, would ring my mum's house, the landline, by chance. And I just managed to say, he rang twice. He obviously thought he had the right number. And I, he rang twice, and I managed to say to him, she's wrong England, and you've got the wrong number.
going to speak Italian in a minute. Let's do a little recap first. So, here's the thing that I want you to remember. Remember, you don't need a challenge. You need to go this place. You can start to speak today. The only thing you need is the presentation and the right mindset. Okay? You are able, you have all that you need to learn. Okay? Activate your Italian. Don't just do the passive. Use writing as a way to build up your speaking skills to start with. Shout and then speak. And feel the fear and speak anyway. Feel the fear and speak anyway. Remember, see it, say it. One thing at a time, one topic, you know, one person, your cat, on your own, whatever. You start small. Make mistakes. It's the best way to learn because you learn new things. And remember to ask for help if you're stuck. Also, when you're fearful, tell the other person. And finally, remember communication. happened to me as well. 
It has happened to me as well that someone come, uh, has come to me and they were speaking in Italian and I would ask them, do you speak English? Because I wanted to help them. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Not because I thought their Italian wasn't that good enough, but I just, want, I just thought, you know, this person is in need and I wanted to help the best of my ability. I can speak English, so why not speak English? And then they would say yes, and then we would speak English. But then, you know, I would, if the other person would have asked me, can you speak Italian instead? I just got myself thinking in English and translating yes, the short question. transition to So how do you start in thinking in the, the second language? Yes. Yeah. Um, different kind of ways, but what helped me was to immerse myself in the language and that doesn't mean go into the conversation. Here's what happens. I, I speak Spanish as well. So <laughs> when I read something in Spanish, since I've been studying Spanish for a while. Now, as soon as I read Spanish, my brain starts to think Spanish because it kind of tunes in, okay? So if your brain is tuned in, uh, if your brain is tuned in in a language, it starts to think in that language. So to develop the ability to think in a second language is to do as much of that language as you can. And uh, remember that that's not always like away, it will come gradually, and still when uh, you will be thinking in that language, sometimes your brain will, will resort to your first language in case you don't know a word. You will always do that. Have you noticed? Mm -hmm. Sometimes I think to get, I got to work using another language, but sometimes they get all mixed up and they won't stay separate. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
And now I'd love to hear from you. What's your biggest takeaway from this workshop? What is the thing that you really liked? Let me know in the comments below. And remember to download the workbook related to the workshop where you find more resources to help you to find the courage to speak Italian. This is Ermi Pedata from thelanguagehearers.com and as usual, I wish you a fun Italian learning. Ciao! Can I just say for the one thing? Okay. I need everyone to clap your hands for this piece of the Italian. Now.